Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Almost forgot this weekend. I mean, with all the steroid controversy and two great fights getting canceled weeks apart, uh, I f- completely forgot about Lucy and Butte, Carl Frotch. Lucy and Butte versus Carl Frotch. This is going to be a good weekend for boxing. Now, I'll, some people don't know about Carl Frotch too much. Hell, probably not. Not even Lucy and Butte for the for that matter, but I I kind of knew about Carl Frotch before he even in, entered the Super Six tournament, and uh, the very first time I really paid attention to Carl Frotch is when he fought Jean Pascal before the Super Six tournament, and as we all know, Jean Pascal he's not really a good boxer. He's a he's a he's a flurry fighter. He's a Floyd fighter. He likes to jump in, swing as hard and as fast as he can for like three, four, maybe five punch combinations, jump out, and keep doing that the whole entire fight. Jump in, flurry, jump out. Jump in, flurry with all his strength, muster, and everything, and jump out. And gas out in later rounds because he don't know how to throw a jab. Or he doesn't know how to actually set up, set up his power hand. He just doesn't know how to do that. Or he just doesn't. He he's a he's all athlete. He's another uh, he's another person that I consider an athlete posing as a boxer. But when he fought uh, Carl Frotch, that's what put me on the what. That's the fight that put Carl Frotch on the map for me. Because and I'll put the link down here. Um, I found it on the internet. So every I mean you can click this link right here and watch the entire fight. Uh, that fight. Carl Frotch versus Jean Pascal showed me more about Carl Frotch than Carl Frotch in the Super Six tournament. Basically, um, like I said, I saw that fight before the Super Six tournament started. So when the Super Six came around, I was like, "Yeah, I know that guy. I like that guy." Watch the fight. He you know, because Jean Pascal had had the speed advantage. He knew he could jump in and flurry all day. And it didn't phase Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch got some bricks put on him. He didn't. He might have staggered maybe once or twice. He ain't never go down. He turned around and started throwing back like, oh, I can give as good. I mean, I can get as good as I can give. He put his chin out there like, you might hit me. I'm not going down. I'm going to hurt you. And that's what he did. He proved to me that he has a very, very exceptional chin for his weight division when he fought Jean Pascal, which makes him fighting Lucien Butte an even more uh, exciting fight for me. Now, I'll be quick to say that Kyle Frotch is a brawler puncher. He'll take some to give some. Which makes for an exciting fight, regardless of who he's who he's fighting. He's gonna go in there and lay his chin out on the line to 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 hurt you. Of course, he tried that against he tried that against uh, Andre Ward. It didn't work to his advantage because Andre Ward had the exceptional skills compared to his uh, talent, and he had the speed to take advantage of it. Because uh, Kyle Frosch fights. With his with his left, I mean, with his left dangling down like this, and he tries it. He kind of tries to do the Philly shell, you no, know, uh, high, high, protect his chin behind the shoulder. But he's not that defensive of a fighter. Like his chin is out there to be hit, and he tries to protect it, but he really don't protect it because he figures I got a great chin. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna walk through and hurt you. Lucien Butte, on the other hand, when it comes to this fight, he's a far superior technical boxer, and 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 he he fights he fights kind of like a, a American fighter, you know, slick boxer knows how to roll punches, jazz from different angles, timely right hands, and I won't say he got knockout power, but accumulation, he'll put you down, and. Carl Frotch's chin is going to be out there. So this is this fight will be 
Lucian Skill against Frotch's chin. And I don't think Lucian Butte has that exceptional speed differential in the fight to give to give uh Carl Frotch the same problems that he had against uh Andre Durrell or Andre Ward per se. But it's I'm not gonna say it's gonna be close either. It's not gonna be close. But it's gonna be exciting to watch because Carl Frotch will not quit. You gotta knock him senseless, take his heart, which I don't think it can be taken, and and completely just dominate. And even then, Carl Frotch will not quit. Carl Frotch will die in the ring to win a fight. He might get frustrated. And in some way, you might see a little bit of discouragement in him. But will he quit? Hell no. He going to come forward and, and try to land something that will change the outcome of the fight. Change the outcome of the fight. And he, to me, he got... He got the power to rattle Lucien Butte. I don't think he'll land, but he does have the power in this fight to, at any point in time, change the title of the fight. Because Lucien Butte, uh, from all the fights I've seen, and I'm trying to remember right now, his his chin has never really been questioned. I mean, uh, his chin has never really been challenged because I mean he rolls the punches. And, and, and he has he has a decent defense when it comes to fighting fights, and he fights with distance. So, so it takes all the it. He he knows how to maneuver the ring. I'll put it that way. He knows how to maneuver the ring. So I'm not gonna keep talking and, and bashing it to death. I, I I do believe Lucien Butte is gonna win a uh, unanimous decision. Because there's, there's no way in hell he's knocking out Frotch. But Frotch is going to give a diehard boxing fan, I mean fighter, effort in the fight to do something. Because he has to redeem himself. He has some lackluster fights and a questionable win. So he has to do whatever it takes to redeem himself from all that by actually dominating or just beating an elite fighter which he hasn't done recently i'll put it that way so check it out check out the fight i've seen on a couple websites they're talking about if you got epex you can check the fight out on there it's coming out this saturday i, I usually uh i usually roam around on a uh, boxing socialist i'm pretty sure at some point in time they'll actually put the fight up there if you don't if you don't have any avenues to check it out Shouts out to my UK Connect. I, I know I got quite a few uh, subscribers over there. Uh, let me know how the fight go. If I don't catch it, because Saturday I'm probably not going to be at home trying to stare at my computer to watch it. I might have to catch the replay. So let me know how the fight go on. Uh, again, I got Lucy and Bhutan in this fight. Check it out if you get the chance. It's going to be a great fight for boxing, especially with the two that got canceled. It's some somewhat of redemption for the two fights that's getting canceled. It's going to be a better fight than some people might give it credit for. I base it all on Kyle Frost Chin to make the, site, uh, make the fight exciting. So, until the next one, doses.